RSV is the cause of substantial morbidity and mortality in various patient populations, including immunocompromised patients, such as transplant patients, and especially in children less than two years of age. Currently, there is no effective treatment for an active RSV infection and no precedent for regulatory acceptance of an accelerated development pathway for RSV therapeutics in infants. ALS-8176, an anti-RSV compound, had its safety and PK characterized in clinical trials in healthy adults and is being evaluated as a potential treatment for RSV infections in small children. The challenge was to determine how to move from trials in healthy adult populations to infants under 2, since the information from naturally infected adults may not be useful to inform pediatric development or feasible to obtain in a timely manner. The development team saw the application of the Human Challenge Model, or HCM, where healthy adults are deliberately infected with RSV, as a more relevant translational medicine tool for bridging to children. In an HCM, it is possible to establish the PKPD determinants of ALS-8176 efficacy. These PKPD readouts inform therapeutic exposures to guide future clinical trials in young children. POP-PK and PBPK models assist in converting these exposures to doses that can be evaluated within the clinical trials in children. This type of translational medicine and MIDD bridging program makes it possible to accelerate development to pediatrics. However, the cost and timeline implications of the HCM clinical study were a significant consideration for the biotech team. In response to this challenge, the team embarked on a novel approach to the HCM clinical trial. Adaptive design features were incorporated using the evolving PKPD data. This information was evaluated in real time to assemble a picture of the underlying ER relationship for ALS-8176. This evolving information informed and iteratively guided dosing decisions within the clinical trial. These decisions included whether to increase or decrease the next dose, incorporate a loading dose regimen, recruit additional subjects at a given dose, and when to stop the clinical trial. This learn-confirmed process was continued during the clinical trial between cohorts, making use of the PK and PD information in almost real time, successfully identifying the PK-PD targets to inform the ongoing program. Rich PK and PD data, coupled with other quantitative pharmacological methods such as POP-PK and PBPK, assisted in predicting doses for study in children which would be anticipated to yield therapeutic exposures in infants under the age of two years. There were multiple key benefits obtained from this study. First, quantitative clinical pharmacology informed the design of an HCM study. The strategy required about half of the patients as a conventional trial, saved an estimated six months, and greater than five million dollars in costs. Secondly, the study was published in the New England Journal of Medicine. Thirdly, the HCM study was a critical part of the overall clinical pharmacology program, including PBPK and POPPK, which together is considered a model-informed drug development program. This approach provided a scientifically credible package that was communicated to the regulatory authorities and resulted in approval of an accelerated development pathway to pediatrics. Overall, the strategy effectively moved ALS-8176 from healthy adults into RSV-infected children under the age of 2 very early in the drug development process.